Hello all and welcome to another Cafe Entertainment video. It's Art here with a with the with my least favorite books that I read in 2019. Just like all the other lists, these are just seven uh, books. I did kind of put them number one being the book I disliked the most. Uh, so I did kind of unknowingly put them in that kind of order but here we go there's only seven because I try to avoid reading bad books but that is the way things go sometimes y you start reading a book and it winds up being a stinker so that is what it is so let's start with number seven the least offensive book on the um, list and that would be Unquiet Spirits by Bonnie McBird. Uh, it's in her Sherlock Holmes mystery series and I do intend to read more in the series uh, but it it was flat and left me wanting too much more. It left me wanting uh, excuse me as I reposition a little bit. It left me wanting just a little bit too much in the sense of uh, I wanted a better book and that's why it made this list and it only got a three star qualification from me um, the next book got another three star qualification and that is Seven Blades in Black um, that was the science fiction book that I read for so the Sword and Laser Book Club. That was a Sword and Laser Book Club book pick. And while it ended up me wanting more, it was so slow in the beginning that I was like, nah, no thanks, goodbye, see you later. And that's where that lasted. If you hear the dogs, there's nothing I can do. I shut the door and there's nothing more I can do about that. But the Seven Blades in Black, it, it just was a little bit too slow out of the starting box for me to be happy with it. Now, the next two offerings, the next three are short stories. But the next two are by uh, Jeffrey Deaver. And that were his Kindle Singles from this past year and the first one being Ninth and Nowhere this book I can best equate it to one of the first three episodes of Star Trek Picard for me and that is that it was a slow build slow build slow build got good and got to where I wanted more and then it just ended and I was like huh so I wanted more in that world but there was no more in that world to be had okay so that's why it got three stars um, the next book was Verona the next Kindle single was Verona also by Jeffrey Deaver you all know how much I love Jeffrey Deaver. I love his full-fledged novels, Carte Blanche and Edge are some of my favorites. I love The Never Game. Um, I love The Bone Collector. And I loved a lot of his stuff. But his short stories just missed the mark. I would say, I would argue that Verona was a criminal version of of Romeo and Juliet and number one I felt like I had read it plenty of times before and number two I felt like he didn't need to put his spend on it his spin on it so that was my beef with those um short stories. 
Now, the number three on the list, since we're going in ascending order, is The Sisters by Dirbla McTiernan. And this book, I just felt like these characters came from somewhere else and had more to offer and more to their background because Durbler and McTiernan expected us to know the characters. And this was an Audible original free pick for the month of Audible, that, the month that I got it. And it just wasn't very good at all. Like, there's not much I can say about it other than the story itself was good, but I felt like I, I felt constantly like I was missing something. Constantly like I was missing out and I was missing the boat and it, it just, it didn't, and upon reflection I still feel that way. Um, it just wasn't all that good and it should have been better. Now the last two in the book were Sword and Laser Book Club book picks again. Uh, the Snow Queen by Joan D. Venge, or Vengey, however you say it, is number two. Uh, that book bounced around so much my head kept spinning. I couldn't keep the character straight. I, it, I had a difficult time of, of keeping the story straight and keeping the story balanced in my mind and it wasn't in my mind and in my thinking and it got two stars for me uh because it ended where it started to get coherent and good but the first two thirds of the book were sl a sloppy mess um it was just dear god it was awful it was just not a very, very good book, and I stopped reading in the series because you don't get to throw me a pile of crap in the first two-thirds of the book, and then the last third of the book, you start getting coherent and expect me to be, yay, no, it doesn't happen. Like, you don't get me to continue in that way. Sorry, it just doesn't happen. Now, this next book was the only book to get a one-star rating for me in the entirety of 2019. And these ratings you can look up on my Goodreads, and if you want to know why um, Christmas Sweets got no rating, it's because I forgot to star it. It, it. it was a four-star book for me, so it didn't end up on this list at all. It was a short story collection. You know, I don't give st short story collections higher than a four. It got the highest rating a short story collection can get from me but this next book I did not read its um, sequel and I will not read its sequel I may indeed read another book by this author but it was not anything that I could write home about and that was Mary Robinette Cole's The Calculating Stars this book was a slog and a pain to get through. If it wasn't for the fact that it was a Sword and Laser Book Club book pick, I would not have picked it up. I would not have finished it. That's just how it goes. It's just, it's, it was not good. I cannot recommend it. Mary Robinette Cole read the audiobook. Usually when the author reads their own work, it makes it better. In this case, it was more self-aggrandizement. It was not good. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to make a playlist of the best books and the worst books and the best games and the uh, well, not the games because I I haven't reviewed every game, but the best books and the and my the best books and the least favorite books are probably going to get a playlist. So look out for that on the channel. I'll probably announce it when they're actually made on the currently reading updates. But this book, 
it was so bad, I returned it to Audible because, and thank God they had their, uh, don't like a book, you can, uh, refund, no questions asked, we're in the customer's favor type of thing going on because that's what needed to happen and that is what did happen. Um, I, it is the book that if somebody said, well, should I read this book? I would tell you, do not touch it with a 10 foot pole. I would tell you it's not worth it. And I'm going to stop, I'm going to end this video so I can stop talking about it because it's that bad. It's bringing back nightmarish images that I don't want to remember. So, with that said, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central. 10.30 in Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more, please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. Let me know in the comments down below what are your least favorite books of 2019. If you have any, please leave a link. If you made a video of your own or just simply list them off in the comments, that's A-OK -okay with me. I'm fine with that. And... Until next time, here's to hoping we pick better books so we can have happy reading. And I'll see you again soon. Soon. And peace.